Hello, today we're going to be doing a little uh, tutorial because a few people have asked and I've said, yeah, I'll do a tutorial at some point, but I haven't yet. So this is a tutorial on how I kind of make the um, uh, mapping videos on my channel. So, uh, sorry, so that border was broken. Um, for the uh, sake of this tutorial, we're going to make one uh, with Chad and Cameron. So first, uh, if you want the exact hex codes of the colours, you can pause the video there, you get the hex codes, and then you can do the do the same for these, the lighter ones, and then the lighter ones, and then these are the ones that use for surrender, so yeah, you can get the hex codes there if you want. So now what I'll do is, I will save as a PNG, so, um, I will save, well shit, I will save that as a, as a PNG, so I've got that, I've got that photo, now move on to the next frame, and um, we're gonna make, we're gonna start with, um, Cameron probably invading Chad. So, we'll just go one frame at a time, and once that's done, save as a PNG. Then this turns to the next colour, so it's been occupied for a while, then you go with a new um, expansion out, so save as a PNG. And now this turns to the colour of the country. If there is multiple, uh, hold on, I'll add onto this now. If there is multiple, this is optional, because I haven't if you want to do this exactly like me, you can obviously change it a bit. Um, but if you want to do this exactly like how I've done it, these colours are sometimes used in a war with quite a few countries, and there's kind of one bigger one that's mostly leading them, like these darker colours. Like if it was a war between Chinese and Russian allies and the United States, maybe the United States would be the dark blue and China or Russia would be the dark red. I don't think I've saved that frame yet, so if it holds for twice as long... You'll know that I have saved it by now. Um, and yeah, so now we're we're at the point where Cameroon has taken quite a lot of land. But now again, I don't always do this because, you know, lazy. Um, but you normally want both sides to um, kind of be fighting a bit. You don't just have one push in straight away and take the whole thing. So we'll maybe start with Cameroon doing a bit up here. And have... Um, Chad kind of beginning to um fight back a bit, get some gains going, but um also want to fill that border in. I'll save this. Now ultimately, I uh, I think I want Chad to win here. So we'll have. Chad start to kind of retake um, a lot of their land, but also kind of push into um, Cameroon, sort of cutting Cameroon off there. We'll have the probably highest point up, they'll only get to like maybe one or two frames from there, and um, then they'll just kind of fall off after that. So now, keep going, and yeah, you pretty much just do the um. Same thing for both red and blue, you know, like, you make it darker the longer they hold it for overall. I don't quite know if this is how everyone else does it, I'm presuming it's pretty different, but there's probably a lot of aspects of it that'll be pretty similar, and, um, if you want to know what maps I use, there's this website called Mapchart, you can get a bunch of cool maps on it just for free, and you can make your own, but not quite in as much detail as you can with just, like, a pen and paper, or digitally, like, drawn digitally, but there is quite, like, there's a province version, so I'll leave a link to that in the description, because that's what I use for the, um, maps in these videos before I edit them, but obviously there's other maps you can use, and you can also even make your own if you, uh, have the, uh, time and expertise to do that, which realistically I probably could, but I can't really be bothered. So, now I'm probably just going to, um, kind of stop talking for a bit, and this bit will probably be sped up as I animate the rest of the frames.
Okay, so this is how I edit videos. Um, I just go into um, uh, CapCut, which obviously is way, way, way better editing softwares, and they would probably work better for the There's the screen recording popping up. Um, there are way, way, way better editing softwares that will probably do so much better for this, but I use this one because I can't be bothered to find one. So what I'll normally do is I'll um, linger on the first frame for about a second. There we go. 0.1 seconds uh, for all the in-between frames, like all the actual animation. So this is essentially a 10 FPS animation. But sometimes if like we um, get to a frame where all the fighting stops for a bit, we'll hold that for like 0.3 seconds. So it's like there's a bit of a break in the fighting, kind of. But this animation doesn't have any of those, so we're just going to go 0.1 frames the whole way through, whole way through the end so it's probably gonna be a pretty short one but recently i've kind of realized due to a couple of comments saying oh you can't really you can't really see the borders for that long at the end so i'm like yeah you're right so we're gonna we're gonna hold on the end for a longer but not for this one because the borders don't actually change but um yeah overall i'd recommend lingering on the ending borders for maybe 1.5 seconds two seconds here we'll go with one second, yeah, and we'll probably remove that ending bit. So yeah, overall we got this very four second animation, and now we can just export that, and yeah, so thanks for watching, this is how you make the uh, animations.